you can use this product under foundation for a more natural effect, or you can use it over the top of foundation for a more dramatic contour. Next, again, you can use your fingers, you can use a foundation brush. I'm going to use a foundation brush, and I'm going to use the highlight shade. Dab a little bit of that right over the cheekbone, over the area where you put your contour color. This will help mask the contour color a little bit and help them look more blended. Try not to go too close to underneath the eye. Just right on the apple of the cheek. Great. For even more of a sculpted effect, use a little bit of the darker color on the temple. Right around the jawline. And to slim down the nose, right along the side of the bridge of the nose. Again, a little bit of a, the cream highlight right on the center of the forehead on the bridge of the nose, on the chin. And right above the jaw. Clients often tell me that contouring is a very overwhelming, confusing thing for them. And I remind them all the time that they probably already do it on a daily basis. They're just, they're using a bronzer. Powders can be a little bit more complicated to use when you're contouring, which is why I like this palette so much, because it's a cream formulation. Creams blend easier, they're more forgiving, and they play nicer with foundations. For a more natural contour, like I said, start with the contour colors and the highlight colors, and then follow with a light foundation over the top. The highlight cream is really nice too. These are both one shade fits all. If you have a darker skin tone, the contour shade is buildable. So go in for one application, let it dry down a little bit, and go in for one more until you get to the desired depth that you're looking for. If you use too much, they blend right down. I'm using the foundation brush, which is a synthetic brush, which helps blend it, and it's also more hygienic when you're using a cream. I'm going to do a little bit of the highlight on the forehead, above the brow, contour on the side of the temple, contour on a little bit under the jaw and chin if needed, and then highlight in between. A really good way to understand highlights and contours is imagine holding a flashlight, or just hold a flashlight, above your head. Whatever it hits, which would be here, 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 that's your highlight. If you use the same flashlight, put it under, whatever that light hit, here, 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 that's your contour. 